Hi everyone, welcome to this Twinmotion tips and tricks video. Today we'll be looking at how you can save your object inside your user library to use them for future projects. So as you can see here, I have a sky dome that you may have seen in the previous tips and tricks video. And today what I want to do is show you how you can save that inside your user library to have access to the sky dome for every future project. So I won't need to do the import and setting up the material at each time I will need a sky dome in my project. So here I have uh, my folder with my sky dome. I can both select my sky dome directly in the viewport by clicking on it, or I can select my sky dome by selecting it inside the scene graph over here. To add the sky dome to my user library, I can click on the three dot button over here, or I can also right click on uh, my object and simply click on add to user library. So it has been saved. Let me open the library. At the bottom of the library, we have the user library folder and my object has been saved at the bottom of my user library. First, I'd like to have a clean user library and don't have a lot of objects over here. I prefer to have folders. So I will first create a folder that I will name Skydome, for example. And I will simply drag and drop my Skydome into my Skydome folder. Now, let's say if I'm starting a new project, which doesn't have any Skydome like here, I can now simply drag and drop this Skydome from my user library to my project. As simple as that. Now, this user library, when you want to save object to your user library, it works for every kind of object. For example, here I have a bench that I found on the 3D Warehouse website. So let's download this bench and see how it looks inside Twinmotion. Back in Twinmotion, let me close that for now. What I will do is come to the import doc, click on import, and I will look for my file. By default, my file has been imported in the middle of the world, of the Twinmotion world. So I will simply select my object and move it in our parking lot over here. To focus on my object, I will click on F to zoom on it. So here, as you can see, I have my nice uh, bench. What I will need to do first is just set up the material so uh, my bench looks nice. So we'll come to the materials, metal, and I will drag and drop this uh, brushed aluminum on the side. And maybe also change uh, this wood to a seamless wood, not a parquet one. At the bottom, we have those kind of seamless wood that will work great. Maybe in this color, it will be a bit better. Uh, maybe not that much reflective. The bench is supposed to be outside, so we we'll just lower a bit the reflection. And I think we are good to go. So now uh, I have my object. The material looks nice. I will simply rename it like bench01. And now if I want to save this object to my library, I simply again right click on the folder this time because uh, in this project, in this object, we have multiple different parts. So instead of saving each different part, I will save directly the folder to my user library. So right click. Add to user library. And now if I come again at the bottom of my user library, I have my bench that I can move in some of my other folder, like my props folder. And now this bench is available here. That means that if I want to add some of those bench to my project, it will be same as any Twinmotion object, just a basic drag and drop to add it to the project. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow us for more content and see you for the next one. Bye everyone!